Welcome again to another video of the Getting Started series for HMAS Studio. I'm going to present here uh, operations regarding the calculation menu. For that purpose, I'm going to use this file. This is a HMAS Studio file that I'm going to expand a little bit for size and show you here the different options for the calculation menu. They're pretty straightforward, so I'm going to close this area and show you here calculation. For example, if I have this particular expression, right? And I want to know what this expression alone is without getting the entire calculation. I can select that area. Let's click to the left of the three. Drag your mouse to select three times the square root of two. Go to calculation and say calculate. And that tells me that three square root of two is 4.2426. All right, so that's that's basically the idea. If I wanted to find a, a value of the entire expression, you just go to calculation. Wait. Well, it won't work that way because if you have the entire expression, oh, yeah, you do. Calculation, it gives me a result that, that is sort of symbolic. To avoid problems with that, you simply select the whole thing and say the equal sign do the equal sign and give you the result. I'm going to do control C or undo to keep that result. And that's the calculate. Um, the first entry solve is not yet available, so I couldn't get anything to do anything to do with that. The simplify entry works mostly with algebraic equations. So what you want to do is just like select the interior of this field. I type this field and did calculation simplify. And what it does, it simplifies a little bit, not a whole lot. For example, this one simplify gives me that result. But now this result right here should be x minus 1 squared. But if I try to select this and do calculation simplify, it just gives me another simplifi another algebraic simplification, but not the one that I really want. So just be careful with that. It, SMAS Studio is mostly a numerical application. It has a few symbolic results that are of interest, but it's not very sophisticated. So just make sure that simplification just means a polynomial gets simplified in a, a polynomial of smaller order combined with another variable. And it's mostly for algebraic expressions. The, the next term, simplify invert. Invert refers to matrices. And what it does, if you select a matrix in the calculation, I'm sorry, you have to select actually the entire expression right there. So you click inside a little bit to the left of this and drag it so it's selected like that. And then you go insert, sorry, calculations, invert. And it gives you a symbolic result for your inversion. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to select this matrix, click inside, select the entire matrix, go to calculation, invert. And it gives me the expression for the invert of that matrix. And we're going to talk more about matrices in, in another video. And just make sure that you understand this is the inversion of a matrix. Determinant. I'm going to reduce the space in here. The determinant of a matrix is a calculation involving the elements of the matrix. It produces a scalar value. And we, what you want to do is select again, go to calculation, and say determinant, and you obtain that result. If you want to calculate the determinant of this function, do calculations determinant. Once again, the differentiate is not quite yet ready there. So that I, I didn't have any example for differentiate of solve. Auto calculation simply means that when uh, when you have it selected, anytime you enter an expression, it gets calculated. For example, if I, if I take it out, and take this result out, the, the definition of ABC is done, but if I if I do D equal here, it's not going to give me any result because it's not auto-calculating. Okay, if 
I remove this in here and now I do replace the arrow calculation. It means that as soon as some variables get defined, this expression gets evaluated and I do have an available value for d equal to 16. So auto calculate is the default value. On error will give you the option to continue, pause, and interrupt, and this is mostly for when you have a program and then there is an error in the program. You, you may continue with the worksheet operation, pause the program, and and try to figure out how to fix it or interrupt. And so again, this is related to programming. We're going to skip that. Recalculate page simply means um, if if I if I change something like I change this to two. Since I have uh, auto calculate, it will make a change in my result here, right? But suppose that you don't have auto calculate, then you can use the recalculate page to do the calculation for you. That's something that you're going to learn and what to use. Regarding the very last one, it says the interrupt processing. I am trying to do a summation here, and uh, this is programming, and actually I'm going to want to 1 million summing something, right? Okay. I left this deliberately empty because what I'm going to do is type a K here. What I'm trying to do here is to sum 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on until I get to 1 million. That is a huge quantity and that's going to stress. Uh, sorry. It's my studio. I need to enter the K here. Okay. I'm sorry. Lowercase K. When I replace <coughs> lowercase K in that expression and click somewhere else, is my studio going to start trying to calculate that? It's a huge number. You can see down this green bar there is. 31 of 38 fields have been processed, and that one is taking forever. And so if you get stuck in something like this, well, actually, I calculated it. S is going to be equal to 5 times times to the 11. So I actually did it. But suppose that you get stuck in something and you want to interrupt, you can just go here or calculation, interrupt processing, and it ask if you want to interrupt, and you say, okay. And then I'm going to delete that. So I just wanted to use this expression to demonstrate the use of the um, the interrupting processing. And those 10 items are what you have available in the calculation menu. I hope you find this useful. And with this, we finish this particular video about the calculation menu in SMS2.